All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back on the OF250. We're, I'm doing a bunch of stuff to this truck, so I'm splitting it up into videos. Um, we did the rocker arms, we did the uh, number seven fuel injector because the fuel uh, fuel curve on it was kind of goofy. It's causing a little bit of stumbling, but today, in this video, well, it's the same day, but in this video, I want to talk to you guys about your map sensors on the 6.4. Now, if you still have the EGR valve, in your 6.4 and it's still using the DPF and everything is stock on your truck and you see your fuel mileage doing this consistently I'll give you a relatively cheap cheap part that will most likely be the cause okay this little bad boy right here this is a map sensor this goes on the passenger side of your intake just to the passenger side of the low pressure turbo I'll show you guys where it is, but I've already replaced mine and then I got to thinking about it. Hey, maybe I should make a video about this. It'll be probably the shortest video that I ever make. This is extremely easy to, to change. If you can pop your hood and get a one inch, where did I put the socket? I believe it's one inch. Yes, a one inch socket on an extension and unplug one cannon plug you can change this this is easy and it is probably the bit one of the biggest killers of diesel mileage in these trucks let me show you why see the inside of that thing come on baby focus for me that's what mine looked like now this is after an EGR delete EGR delete and DPF delete that thing is packed solid with that nasty ass carbon that goes in these trucks. That's what you're recycling into your intake if you have a non-deleted truck. That that soot and fuel and oil and nasty shit is going down into your cylinders. So, well, I'm not a advocate for doing anything illegal and the off-road pipe, the EGR delete and off-road pipe that's on this and the, the EGR being gone and the tuning is all off-road stuff and this truck never goes on road just races the cows out in the pasture if you're worried about fuel mileage in the pasture <laughs> um, definitely go down and spend the money and at least check yours and clean it with some electronics cleaner if you can but right there there's two sensors right here next to the low pressure turbo right there that is your map sensor it's one can of plug a one inch it's you don't even got to thread tape it there's a rubber uh, o-ring on it already make sure and get your old o-ring out of there mine was kind of crusted in there and I had to pry it out with a, uh, a pick but replace that bad boy and see if your fuel mileage doesn't go up I'm willing to bet that it will so I'm gonna get this set back up like this oops turn the viewfinder so that I can see what I'm looking at yeah, so guys, uh, super easy. Now what did I do with it? Super easy to do. Uh, if you can operate a ratchet, you can do this. Um, that being filled up like that, the computer isn't getting the manifold absolute pressure and it's not calculating the fuel that you need. That's loss in power, that's bad, bad, bad fuel mileage, and in these six fours, you guys know we need all the fuel mileage we can get. So that's it for this video. This is a super short video, super easy. I figured as long as I had it apart, I might as well tell you guys about it, show it to you. It's, it's easy to do. And if you pull yours out and it looks like that, you're going to be kicking yourself for not doing it sooner because you've basically been, you pay for that part in saved diesel. So I think it was 40 bucks. What did I do with the box? From O'Reilly's. Uh, standard motor products it is a AS422 right there comes a little box I believe I believe it was 40 bucks so it's probably the same uh, sensor that goes on gas engines and they only charge 20 bucks for it but because it goes in this power stroke 40 something everything's double for this thing but they're damn good motors, they're damn good trucks, as long as you keep up with them. Obviously, I wasn't with that map sensor. I was a little surprised to pull that out and look like that, but 
especially since it's deleted but now it's got a nice fresh one in there so i will report back you guys talk to me in the comments below let me know uh is there something that you guys would like to see is there something that uh is there questions is there things that we can explore on this truck that i can explain to you guys to help you guys out you know i love making these youtube videos and uh I'll continue to do so as long as I'm able. So comment in the section below. Give me, give me some suggestions, and I'll try to answer any questions that I can. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and y'all have a good day.